findings of the uh, matters committee. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Um, as we discussed last week about the banners being in already in the sign ordinance, that if we could move this back into the ordinance and set it up as a special events banner, not just banners, because under signs that do not require a permit, a special events banner is exempt. But I recommend, in order to face John's concern, about you guys having to decide every single banner, you know, and you have your four hour meetings on the night of NCAA, um, <clears throat> is that you created a, the permit process and let Justin make the decision. And at such times, should someone decide that they don't agree with Justin, that would fall to the adjust Court of Adjustments because it would be an appeal of a decision, removing it out of this room every time. Okay? Um, forgive me for my mess up on the first line. As I've given you the definition of a banner and the permits required section, basically what you would do is create an item called special events banner, which would be defined by the town attorney, I would assume, or the town planner. Um, the banner should be made out of lightweight, windproof material, as we discussed previously. Um, propose that the added community events sign required permitting, the, I just went through that, I got ahead of myself. Um, and who can apply would be not-for-profits and groups of businesses that plan a special event, sort of like the Trail Days Chow Down. So you can get more response to that. I didn't even know anything about it, but it's because I'm not a hiker. But if I you know, saw something, I might go, I want to see what this is. Um, and another example is the St. Patrick's Day event that we had on Stewart Street in March. No single business would be able to advertise on the banner. We're not going to have Larry's Computers 10% off or anything <laughs> like that. Um, how long? I would say not to exceed two weeks and no longer than three days after the event. That should give you plenty of time for advertising your event. <coughs> and it also gives you something to, to plan for instead of getting it up you know, six months ahead. And it also alleviates the problem of events falling on the same day. And that's going to happen. It's inevitable that not everybody goes to the same event all the time. The location would be a single location that would be <coughs> closer to the second crosswalk on Main Street, which takes it right off the top of Town Hill, but it does give you time to view it from roughly the Town Hall up until about Wells Fargo Bank or somewhere in that area. <coughs> and nothing's been fleshed out about that because we have to go to DOT once we get permission and put that together, then they'll have to give us permission to be able to do that. Um, the banner will stay at a, site, a height of about 20 feet, which should clear all your tractors and trailers unless they're bringing in a wide load. Uh, any questions? Any questions of uh, Ms. Tolliffe? No, I was worried about the height, but you say that's what a semi is because I've yeah, been seeing big semi <coughs> coming up Town Hill and use them come through down. Right. They're roughly, roughly 18 feet because most of your bridges around here, Interstates and things like that have 18 to 18 and a half feet. And I think DOT approval is going to take care of that. Mm -hmm. DOT gives the blessing to this sort of general yeah. regulation. Mm -hmm. Larry, I want to thank you for your hard work. Huh? I think the town board and Matt and Tom. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Matt and I unfortunately just talked on the phone, but you know, we still have to work for a living. Right. <laughs> right. All right, uh, if there's no further discussion from the board, uh, Council, I believe you have a motion to bring before the board. I certainly can, Mr. Mayor, but I, I think the, the, uh, the next step is to have uh, a draft uh, sign ordinance um, uh, regulation that is along the lines of what's presented here. Yeah. I don't think we're ready to do that yet. I need to bring it back to you next meeting. Do you mind if I argue with you just a minute? Of course, I'm a resigning officer, so I'm going to. <laughs> uh, folks, I'm not sure that this really needs an ordinance. I think just a simple policy, uh, as it's been presented by the Banner Committee, will suffice, and it gives us the ability to take this on a case-to-case -case basis. And uh, we still have control over it. Uh, and if someone wants to appeal, they can go to the Board of Adjustment. If they don't get any satisfaction then, they can come to the town board. And I think that we're, uh, we, 
we have, we have battled the banner wars long enough. And I would like, we've got several events that are coming up, and I just hate to see us wait another month before we can hang a banner on Main Street. Now that's just my, as, as the mayor, that's just my feeling. Does the board feel otherwise, or how do you feel about it? Well, I mean, they, they've not picked the location yet, so how can you prove in this storm being one location that will always be used? So well, how can you prove something if, you don't, if we don't have an exact thing? Well, there, you, there again, that's putting the cart before the yeah. horse because if I, I'm getting permission for a location, I still don't know if you're going to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of all I'm... The, you know, an action to, <coughs> to commit to move forward with that is... Yes, absolutely. I think we all agree that we're going we're gonna to let it go through, but I think we have to have something to vote on. That's something to say. I think so. Uh, personally, it ought to go through the signed ordinance. Yeah. That way they won't have to bring it back before the board from time to time to give approval and, and then uh, it will be uh, under whoever is the signed applicant's uh, responsibility to get the location where it's going, secure it, and have it right and present it to the, to the signed ordinance. How long will that take? To do to what he is saying the, uh, yeah. the process. It should be like any other sign ordinance matter. Is it's an app, you know it's an application process that if, if they've got everything in order and done their homework, it we takes just as long enough to sign his name. On it. And, and Mr. Mayor, that's also to, to Alderman Curtis's point. Respectfully, if you if you want to take the process away from having to come back before this board, the way to do it is to let's define what we're talking about and get it in the sign board. Because then it will be a process. And it doesn't have to come back. Well, that's my that's my understanding of what uh, Larry has presented to us. That it would go through the sign. You need to draft it into the sign ordinance yeah. to do that. And also you need to right. repeal the other ordinance, the streets yeah. and sidewalks ordinance that says no no banners across right. streets. So I understand the need to have some sort of, you know, signify that we are going to move forward with that. And I, you know, the board absolutely can, can have a motion to uh, give general approval to, to this and correct me to draft it in an ordinance that would come back before you next month so that we... I'm not saying we have to be stuck in the mud until you have a, a fully fleshed out ordinance in front of you, but I do think you do need to have that ordinance. The mayor can move forward yeah. if the yeah. location is okay. Yeah. okay, well, uh, I would like to see this on the agenda for board approval and disapproval no later than the next regularly scheduled meeting of this board. And then we give an event such yeah. as Taste of Scotland time to, right. to do something. And since they know that you're moving forward, they go ahead and do their artwork and get things put together. Yes. And I can get with Justin and we get to DOT and go, yeah, it's fine right here. This is the only place. And done yeah. with it. We've got several events already scheduled for June. Right. Not to mention July. Right on, right on, you know, pumpkin fest and everything under the sun. Right. So, so, Mr. Mayor, I, I would suggest you entertain a motion to uh, thank the Banner Committee for their work on this, to give general approval to the, the outline of a policy that they have brought to you and instruct me to bring back an ordinance that will put it into effect. Okay, I'll entertain that motion. I make the motion. Did I second. All in favor. All right, let's move on. Thank you. Just don't let any malls gather on this. Been going on for several years. Okay.